Humphrey Pictures presents the bedroom. This is the former basement door. It's the same door, but now it is the bedroom door. And we're going to open it and peer down into... I haven't hung anything on the walls yet because he just finished yesterday. Um, you will notice at the top here, there is another handle because we figured putting in railings was going to be just way too tight. <clears throat> the back door that now swings out instead of in. And we come down the steps. At the foot of the steps is not just Jesus. <clears throat> I'll even turn on a light. The bookshelf. And next to that is the window. I bought that statue and the flowers. The flowers are fake, of course. And then if you look up, look at those steps. Aren't they gorgeous? So then we come around in the bedroom and there is the laundry room door, which is, the laundry room is still a disaster, but I'm working on that. And then over here are the pictures. They're, they're made out of jade and Johnny, I think your mother may have one because Uncle Don got one for all the kids. So you may have your grandmother's. This is the bed. And Jesus is not centered, which drives me crazy, but I'll get to it someday. So it kind of looks like this from the side. And then we come over here. <clears throat> Let me turn on the light and over here is the dresser with the Ron shrine on it. See if I can back up further. And then where the opening used to be for the uh, storage, this is the um shelf and actually you can we just take the shelves out and we can still open that thing very easily and this thing on the the window is something bob bought for me and i really like it during the day it sparkles so you can get up closer the idea of putting art in the windows since nobody's going to look in any, anyway and this is kind of what it looks like from this side and then here we have a closet for standing up things or hanging up things long things which is kind of nice and then and that's my great-grandmother's bowl and pitcher, so it's Johnny's great-great-grandmother's, and this is a pair of gloves that were Nana's, my Nana's, and a couple of handkerchiefs that are, they're all, the handkerchiefs are linen, I think. They're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and then we have, ta-da, the best room. And I have this light instead of a light, over, an overhead light. And the shower, which is wet because I just took one. I have a new shower curtain, but I haven't put it up yet. And it works quite well. The handrails also work well as towel racks. 
<clears throat> and then behind, hope you're not getting seasick with all this changing, is the rack for towels. I gotta get rid of those hangers, they look tacky. Along with the socks on the floor. <clears throat> so we come back in here. And we have the big light. And that kind of gives you an idea what that looks like. Um, and then with the lights, oh yeah, the closet. The closet is really kind of cool. Um, Those are bags from upstairs that I haven't unpacked yet. Someday I'll get to it. A lot of the clothes are still upstairs too. I just bring them down because I do them in the, the laundry. is so easy to do now. These are my new gym shoes. You'll see they're called No Bowl. They're really comfortable. I've been wearing them to church on Sundays. And then this is what it looks like from this position with the light on. So now I'm going to start turning out lights because I'm going out to Mexican with Rick, apparently not Ben. That's a long story we'll get to at some point. <clears throat> um, and then we turn out this light. Oh, I left the bathroom light on. Oh, well, I'll go to hell. <clears throat> and so now we go back upstairs. <clears throat> and you can see that I have to do the kitchen. Anyway, that is the bedroom. Best 30,000 bucks I ever spent in my life. Ron would probably have a fit, but hey, he's now enjoying it. Anyway, love to you both. Bye. Oh, Humpy says hi. Oh, let's see if he's... <coughs> Are you there? Yes, you're there. Say hi to Aunt Courtney and Uncle Johnny. Meow. Humpy. Oh, yeah. I guess he's bored with the whole thing. Anyway, <clears throat> that yawn was the MGM lion roaring and signing off. Bye.